as you might have noticed, we love visiting cities. And in today's video, we're going to show you how we manage to visit a city. So follow our step where we are visiting the city of Edinburgh. We are Melody and Johannes and in 2022, we decided to sell all our belongings and give up our comfortable life in the city for a year-long adventure around the world. Every week, we explore a new destination, making the most of our year of travel. Come along as the wind takes us to the four corners of the globe. We are Catch the Wind. Let's jump straight into number one, weather doesn't matter. As you can see, it's raining today. It's actually really cold as well. But let the rain, let the sun, let the heat, let the cold not deter you from visiting your city because weather you can't control. But really, what can you control? You can control the way you dress up to be comfortable no matter what the weather is. Are we comfortable right now? Yes, we're comfortable. We have got rain jackets, jackets underneath, long pants. Um, Oh my gosh, we've got everything. We are prepared and the rainy Scottish weather is not going to deter us for one second. Our second point is taking the bus is always a plus. Think about it, you don't have to pay parking, you don't have to drive, you can experiment the local life, it's economical, ecological, many many plus. And especially when you're in the UK, when you can sit upstairs and have the front view, you can also just enjoy the city. Well, I guess you can enjoy the view if it's not raining, <laughs> because right now you don't have that much view. Now, Hi. it's not only taking the bus that we love, we also love to bike. So when there's no bus, you can bike. Bike in the city is just the best. <laughs> Where are we going, Melody? So, I really need to go to the restroom. We won't be able to stop for the next two hours, so better to go now. And since we also like coffee, why not go and stop in the coffee shop? Yeah, I'll go. Do you want a coffee? Uh, sure. Do you want a soy latte? Okay, cool. I also want a coffee. Here's a coffee for you. Little bonus point for you, when you are in the UK, Cafe Nero does make the best coffee. Okay, so we have a meeting and we're searching for a yellow umbrella. What are we doing, Melody? What are we doing? Whenever you are in any city, try and find yourself a free walking tour. These guys are usually students and they have so much knowledge and they're great at showing you around the city. And so we are finding us a free walking tour of the guys who are going to show us what's up in Edinburgh. And then at the end you just pay whatever you want and it's a great way to explore the city. And we were told to look for yellow umbrellas. And oh, hang on. We found the yellow umbrella. It should always start like a treasure hunt. <laughs> never encourage enough to go on this uh, walking tour because you learn so much about a place and you learn so many fun facts yeah. so we'll give you three fun facts about the city of Edinburgh <laughs> that we love today number one the castle of Edinburgh is built on top of a hill that hill it's is a volcano. volcano fact number two every day at 12 59 53 seconds you will hear a gunshot to remember people what time it is and then you might wonder why this weird time well because the time the sounds reach the ears of people it is one so the point is to just remember that this is 1 p.m today fact number three edinburgh has the second largest monument that is dedicated to a writer specifically it's called the scott well, there you go. Three little facts that you can know that we paid attention during our free walking tour. So fourth point, when you go in the city, always try to get to the local restaurant. We find this restaurant special in mashed potatoes and I got a sauce made of whiskey, of course, because that's not there. What did you get? Yes, yeah, so I got mashed potatoes with leg of lamb. And we got mashed potatoes with uh, Scottish cheddar. These are the moments though that we have to remember point number one. Weather doesn't matter. It's pretty wet. <laughs> point number five is very important. In every city we go to, we like to find not the Dutch coffee shop, coffee shop where they actually sell coffee. And here we found the Milkman, which seems to be a chain here in Edinburgh. 
it looks very nice so we shall go and grab a coffee to respect point five on our list let's go I don't think this place here. Okay, not too worried. There was another one we saw we shall go to. Plenty of coffee shops here in Edinburgh. Come, come, come. Actually, this does bring me to point number six. Come with a flexible mindset. You can have a plan of places you want to go to, but sometimes it doesn't work out and sometimes people will recommend you other things to do. Go with the flow and enjoy the city as it comes to you. So point number six, when the one coffee shop is full, there's always going to be another one that is just as nice and maybe even has better coffee, who knows? So I guess what I love about coffee shop is I like to see all the different type and style of decoration each coffee shop have and how they made it so cozy. And it's also like a great way to have some decoration inspiration. Why do you like coffee shops, Johannes? I like to go to coffee shops and get a coffee because it reminds me of Central Perk and Friends. Oh yeah? So, am I your friends? Yeah. And we come to our final point. We like to do cultural experience. It can be like something typical from the area. We usually really like something about history or food. What's a surprise? And so tonight, as we are in Scotland, we are going to do some whiskey tasting. Now a great way to research what type of activities the region will have is to go on to Airbnb and check out their experiences. That always gives you a great idea of what's available. And then you don't have to book through Airbnb, you could just type on the Google then that type of experience and then you can find it and book it. We don't promote alcohol in any way, shape or form, but when you come to Scotland, you should go on a whiskey tour because this is where it's from. Okay, so we've done a tour. We've learned that whiskey is actually from Ireland I and mean, not it's Scotland. Arrived in Ireland before. <laughs> actually, yeah. here's one fun fact for you. <clears throat> So one fun fact for you about whiskey, it was brought into Europe by the Arabs and it was first discovered in Europe in the University of Cor 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 Corbara? Anyway, it was discovered in a university in southern city in Spain and from there it was brought up into Ireland and after in Scotland and here it really got stuck and now today we know Scotland for its whiskies. Well this is the end of our city trip and Look at that! It is not raining anymore. I don't know why I'm wearing this raincoat actually. <laughs> Let's hand back to the van and then we shall recap our points of what makes a good city trip. Come on, let's go. So to conclude this video, here's a recap. Number one. Weather doesn't matter. Number two. Taking the bus is a plus. Number three. Try and find yourself a free walking tour. Number four. Try to eat in a local restaurant or a restaurant where the local eats. Number five. We like cozy coffee shops. Try and find one for yourself for a nice steamy cup of coffee. Number six. Be flexible. Number seven. Go on to Airbnb and find yourself a local experience. So we hope this video has been helpful for you and that you enjoy watching it. We're gonna rewatch this for the next city we visit. We hope you're gonna do the same and we shall see you in the video another time. Like and subscribe.